What's going on guys? This is Kevin Reese. So, got this box here. You can see it says eBay on it. And guys, I was really surprised that this made it here this quick. It was priority mail. Um, it said it was guaranteed by Saturday. And if you'll check here, if you look at my watch, it's Thursday. So, about to go to work. This came in. You know, just got up. Good night shift. So, I was excited. I want to go ahead and open them up for you. But this... I got these on sale, actually, um, and they were only uh, about, I want to say, $59, and these are normally more expensive than that. But if you see here, we've got the Clark's Men's Bushacre 2. These are dark brown. Guys, I normally wear a 9.5. I went with an 8.5. I actually spoke with the guy uh, at Clark's. Good, good, Pretty good customer service. I called him, guys. The guy, you know, I didn't, I didn't have to wait a long time. They answered my call. Uh, spoke with the guy, and he was telling me how they're they're su supposedly run true to size, and you know. <clears throat> but I've seen so many reviews. People say go a size to a half size smaller. The only reason I went with the eight and a half on these, and these are like I said, the dark brown, is because uh, I wear an eight and a half in my Justin boots, and they fit good. So um, I was assuming it'd kind of be the same thing, but I can always return them. But anyway, guys, here they are in the packaging. And now, according to the site on eBay, I got these cheaper because it says that there was some damage to them uh, that I I haven't seen. But I'm going to go ahead and open them up out of this package. And it looks like they're brand new, but it said damage to the box and some scuff marks. But I don't see anything on these shoes, on these boots. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and i'll open these up real quick all right guys so i went ahead and threw these up on the desk real quick i think I, if i remember correctly this spot here and here that you see um and i believe here was uh the damage they were talking about uh this is just like a scuff mark and they said you know it could come out with buffing and stuff polish which i have if you see my other videos from my justin's boots the uh leather boots kiwi shoe polish some leather polish i can fix these right up which that'll be the first thing that i do to these prior to wearing them uh, is just put a good coat of wax on to help protect them and also helps to kind of waterproof these seams uh, the only little discrepancy i can see here is uh if you see this little spot down there it's on the bottom of the sole looks like a difference and only thing I can see on these boots that looks a little off um, other than that but overall happy with the way they look and the way they came packaged it really surprised me I mean I thought they were just gonna come in a regular box but these are eight and a half um, got the little shoe keepers in both of them so um I'm gonna go ahead and try them on hey right, guys so here we go uh, eight and a half and I must say, they are comfortable. You know, not as comfortable as running shoes, but they aren't They aren't bad. Um, the sole feels pretty good. Y'all can see here, I mean, they they have a good feel to them. You know, nothing uh, real crazy. A little bit of a heel here. This is just a quick trying on. I'll show y'all, uh, I'll give you another uh, shot of them when I throw them on with some film. Uh, fitted jeans some tapered jeans right now I just got my scrubs on <laughs> like I said about to go to work but wanted to kind of show you this unboxing real quick this is the other one first thing I'll do is throw a coat of polish on them before I before I take them out and wear them though and I'll show you all that as well all right what's up guys so just got off work um, about to go to bed soon but I wanted to show you all the shoes I'm gonna polish them real quick and just kind of show you all before and after so that's what we're about to do now all right, so got them up here on the desk, guys. Y'all can see here. Here they are. Both of them. I mean, brand new, guys. I'm just <laughs> surprised I got such a good deal on these things. They said they were damaged, but they look fine. So this is what you're going to need, pretty much. This Kiwi shoe polish. This is brown, so this will work perfect with these. Um, just old rag like this is, is fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. This is actually just, a, just an old rag, and you can see... I've used this uh, before to polish my other boots with, so um, I'm going to show y'all, just kind of walk y'all through how to do it. Um, just pop this top off on this polish, get you a little dab on there, and just start going to town. 
so I'll show y'all what it looks like we'll do one of them and uh, and I'll compare it to the other one so we'll just do this one here so we'll just start with this left one for the heck of it but on um, what you want to do guys is when you you get some on there just kind of polish and I usually do kind of like a clockwise and then a counterclockwise and then I go in different directions like with the grain so I'll do different directions like that as well and it just kind of gets it evenly distributed throughout the leather so that's what we're going to go ahead and do now guys we're going to hit this whole boot alright guys as y'all can see here polish this one haven't touched this one yet y'all can just tell the difference already in this leather it looks fresher it's got almost a wet look to it and it'll look like this until it dries pretty good so um about 12 hours or so i mean it'll look like a like a brand new boot guys i mean you can see it's kind of got you know the rub marks in it but like i said when this dries this will go away and just look at that guys looks great um like i said one of the reasons you want to do this um you don't know how long these boots have been sitting in that box and this leather you know over time gets dry but i mean just look at look at the difference in both of these guys i mean this polish makes a, a world of difference here it really does and it's really it's hard to see it and the the video doesn't really do it justice but i mean maybe the tongue can kind of give you all an idea and i didn't remove the laces i just kind of went up under them like i said you know with the polish and the rag but um i mean just look at these things guys they look good we're going to hit the other one now.